Okay, the wild robot. So, of course, you've seen the trailers, you understand the basic premise. Uh, you have a, a robot that ends up getting, I'll just say, lost in shipment, that then tries to uh, assist the wildlife, and then ends up assisting a, a gosling. When they go to why that happens, it's devastating the first time they do it, and then when they revisit it later. This is a very emotional movie. There's lots of times there's 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 comedy to it, there's action to it, and there's also some really strong emotional moments. You will never think you could really fully be emotionally invested in a relationship between a robot and a gosling. But in this movie, you will be. And since they're able to do that, my main thing is to writers and screenplay people in Hollywood, they were able to do that with a robot and a gosling and create this amazing uh, emotional connection to it. Uh, stylistically, I like the way that it's done. You know, it's a it's a unique style of, of art to it. It's very, it's very much its own. So it was really good. Um, family movie. Yes, definitely heavy, heavy family notes. Now... I don't know if it's a spoiler warning or not. <clears throat> the relationship between the robot and the gosling is a is a mother son relationship. So if you have issues related to that, this is gonna be a punch in the heart several times. Uh, was now the trailers may seem a bit more action orientated. Um, there's a lot more emotional to it. It's not as bad as like if, where if seemed like it's gonna be this really bright, cheery comedy, and then it was just a heavy emotional movie. But very well done. Definitely worth seeing in a theater. Uh, the visual style, it's big, it's bright, it's bold. When they do the action sequences, you know, having this giant screen in front of you really, really makes some of those moments really stand out. And then when it comes to some of the, the more emotional moments, having it in that grandiose way really just drives it home. 